Hello everyone and welcome back to the Direwolf 20 mod pack. So I was told I should probably put a little trimming on these uh, buildings and I agree they do look a little bit dull because they're just boxes technically. So I tried some vanilla slabs here and in my opinion that kind of sticks out a little bit too much. I don't like it. Then I thought why not use some of these micro blocks which are only half a block in two dimensions, uh, the pillars here. And I think I actually like that a lot more. And then I've got the notches on the corners, of course. So I think I'm going to go with the the micro blocks there. I think that'd look a lot better. There we go. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe even add a little something else to it. I don't know what. Um, let me try something here. What if I were to... No, it's not... No, that won't do quite what I want. Let's, let's make a couple more of the notches. How's that look? Eh, I don't know about that. What if it were up on the top? How's that look? Uh, it looks even worse. I don't know, maybe that's not so bad. And yeah, we'll just do this for now. Okay, so someone else told me that I should investigate the Traveler's Gear from Tinker's Construct. So, the vest lets you swim faster. Goggles let you zoom in. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, it, wings give you a higher jump. Boots give you the high step ability which is probably the main thing I want here. So they require an aluminum ingot, which I think will require a smeltery. No, you might be able to just smelt the ore straight up. Maybe. Yeah, we can. Okay. Might as well just do that since I only need one right now. And leather, I should have... Actually, I used all my letter-making books, didn't I? Right. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I have? Okay, how many cows do I have right now? I've got enough. I need six leather. Okay. These cows are not giving me much. I should probably feed them first. I'll be right back. And I need to add some trimming to this building as well. I'll, I'll do that later. Okay, so got enough leather, got the aluminum, we can make string if we don't have any. But I do. And smelt the aluminum. And make the boots. Traveler's boots. Okay, and those give me two and a half armor bars. That seems like a lot for boots. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, and this lets me step up these one block gaps, which is perfect because I actually do not like these wooden steps at all. So I'm going to replace these with just good old fashioned concrete. There we go. So that is much faster. Very good. Okay, I've got the little trimming on the machine room now. And unfortunately, this makes this ladder useless. So we've got to move it somewhere else. And I have an ideal for that. 
So the Carpenter's Blocks mod has its own equivalent to a trapdoor. It's called a hatch if you're having trouble finding it. Let's see how this is made. So we need six Carpenter's Blocks. I have one. We'll need to make some more. Okay, and let me actually make a few more Carpenter's Blocks. I'm going to need some more. Okay, and here we go, a hatch. Also, something I want to mess with is the Carpenter's Pressure Plate. So let's make uh, four of those. Okay. So let's come to the inside of this machine room now. And we can see here's the cobblestone slab roof. Which, um, hmm, kind of don't like seeing, but... I didn't think about that when I built this, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's put the ladder here for now. And break this. And I forgot to grab the carpenter's hammer, and I don't think I have a carpenter's chisel. I don't know what all you can do with that. I should probably make one. Okay, and that is how you make a carpenter's chisel. So let's get these on the, t on the bar. Okay, so let's put this hatch down, like, right here, and let's see, can I actually get get through that correctly? Can I? Yeah, I can. Oh no, I can't climb up. Okay. Let's break that. Put it here instead. Okay, and I should be able to climb up through that. So I can make it look like cobblestone, of course. And it's not flush with the roof, which is not a really big deal, but let's see what we can do. Uh, out of curiosity, what does the chisel do? Oh, that creates like a little pattern in it, which is not quite what I want. I want it to be just regular. I don't know. How, maybe shift right click? No. Shift left click? Did that remove the chiseling effect? I think it did. Okay, so let's try to hammer. That makes it glass, mesh, more glass, Indin a little indentation. That's cool. And it left click. Looks like it. No, that just rotated it. I thought there was some way that you could remove the the handle and make this flush with a block. But maybe I was wrong about that. Hmm, I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter that much to me. I mean, it'll look natural from the bottom here, which is perfectly fine. And I wonder... Oh, no, wait. Oh. I shift-right-clicked and says we'll behave like an iron door. So now I can't open it. Okay. We'll behave like a wooden door. Okay. And that last one... I put the handle up on the top. Wait, was the handle on the bottom on those others? I'm spending way too much time on this. That That's good enough, really. Just need a way to quickly get onto the roof in case I need to. You never know when you'll need to make a quick escape. Hop from rooftop to rooftop, stuff like that, right? And I just totally forgot that I was going to do something with these carpenter's pressure plates as well. So these I've used very briefly before, and I believe there's a way that you can configure them. Yeah, you can trigger what will activate them. So if it were all entities, then an item entity will activate it. So will, I assume, any mobs. But if it's only activated by players, then that's pretty much the same as an obsidian pressure plate, which is nice. So now, I want to disguise it as something so it's not too noticeable. What am I looking for? My chisel. The chisel chisel. Not the carpenter's chisel. 
very different. So let's see, if I make it look like the, the block it's on, that looks pretty good. You, you can tell it's there, but it's not too noticeable. Let's see what I, what kind of designs have. Oh, just regular right click is how you change the mode. Oh, and if you left click, it makes it so that it's, um, how would you say it, uh, enabled low? So that if nothing is stepping on it, it's outputting a redstone signal, and if something is, it's, it's not. Not very useful for what I want to do, but uh, definitely could be useful in some situations. Let's see what the carpenter's chisel does to it. Pretty much what you would expect. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, there we go. Shift left click to clear. And now I'm also going to want a few more pressure plates on the outside of these buildings. So let's do something kind of like that maybe. Uh, I'll have to add some more blocks in here as well. But I'll do that later. Let's just get the pressure plates in for now. Only activated for players. Is that the default? I think it is, but I'm going to assume that it's not. Okay, and over here I'm going to need some wood to put it on. Let's see, what do I have for the floor in here? That is smooth oak wood planks, okay. Let's grab some of those. There we go. That'll just make it a little easier to get in and out of the buildings. Very nice. Okay, I decided to go for a little stone driveway on both of them. Chose the same design. It makes more sense to have stone here because a, a building made out of wood makes sense enough, but uh, a little roadway kind of thing made out of wood doesn't really make much sense to me so i think this this looks okay i might have a similar little driveway for all the houses i make later on for the villagers i i don't know just have to see how that works out okay so last time i built this little house to test out the paint and it didn't do quite what I wanted. The color is quite different because of the way the oak wood works. So I thought maybe I should try birch wood. Let's try that out. That's better. Still a little bit darker than I think it's... Well, yeah, it's definitely a lot darker than it's supposed to be if the color in this paint can is right. So we would have to adjust our color a little bit, but I think birch would be the best thing to do. Actually, I wonder, this canvas block... Um, well, you can actually make this canvas. Of course, I assume it wouldn't be textured in that case. But why don't we try that out, see what it can do. Assuming I, I have enough sugar cane and paper. I don't have enough, let me go harvest some. Okay, so we need a fence and then a bunch of paper. Okay, I have some fences and I can make paper. Let's just make one set of these since I don't know what all I can do with them, although I'm pretty sure I can guess what they're used for. And let's run back over here. Okay, canvas, it's a, a nice pure white block. It can be mined with a pickaxe pretty quickly. Maybe a little bit too quickly. How's that compared to cobblestone? It's uh, faster than cobblestone. But when we paint it, it becomes the exact right color. Of course, this block has no texture. Is there any way to give it a texture? I don't know. Hmm. Huh. 
Yeah, if there's some way to give this a texture, that would be kind of cool, but I don't I don't think so. I think this would be uh, best for if you're wanting to do pixel art or something like that. I do actually have an ideal for a purely decorative build. It's going to be pretty big, I think. Um, at least it's going to be very tall. And I haven't quite decided what kind of blocks to use, but this canvas could be a very good choice since it's uh, something that uh, I'd say the color is more important than the texture. All right. Well, the birch wood is definitely a lot closer in color to this paint can, but still pretty far off. What? I killed the paint can. Where did it go? Uh, paint can. I murdered it, and it's gone. Well, well, that kind of stinks. That was like a bucket. It, uh, I used three iron on it. I feel bad. Okay, well, next episode, I don't know what we'll be doing. Um, maybe some more Batania stuff would be nice. I also... This is a, there's a lot I want to build here, and... Don't want to do too much building in a row. So, kind of hard to say. Oh, I think some Endermen have been at work here. But we'll just see. Let me know any ideals you have. I'm always happy to hear them out. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.